Hello, you two. Hang out with me. Let's hang out. Keep me company while I make sample packs. I'm really busy with sample packs. And I thought I would bring you guys along as I'm sitting here and labeling things. <clears throat> as I'm sitting here labeling things and being just silent with my thoughts, it's like a lot, a lot comes up for me as I can smell, I can smell all the rose coming up. And it's a reminder of my journey. These will always be a reminder of my journey. And that's the great part. It's the greatest part is to bottle your journey, your journey, to bottle your journey, almost like poetry, you know, to document like the greatest things that have happened in your life. It's an amazing feeling. And then to have people love it so much and buy, like to pay for your stuff, you know, to have this thing created and then you put it out in the world and people, people love it. People buy it and people message you and they want to be a part of it and they want to support you and they want to watch you grow. It's just, <clears throat> it's a reminder of how amazing this world is when you connect yourself to it and what you are capable of doing yourself you're capable of so much so much more than you've ever realized and it's just a matter of it's just a matter of getting rid of fear getting rid of that fear-based programming that you grew up with that society has put on you that family has put on you, that friends have put on you. Friends, sometimes friends hold you back. They don't do it intentionally, but they're so afraid of being, you know, left behind. Subconsciously, they wanna, they wanna hold you back. That happens, friends, family, spouses, partners, siblings, you know, they hold you back. That's what, um, it's like a deep attachment, fear. And that's what, that's what I had a lot of letting go of our attachments to, uh, people's expectations of me that weren't necessarily right for me. They were more right for somebody else than they were for me. And I had to learn to let those go and to do the things that I love doing, like putting my loves first, right? And then when I put my loves first and I'm happy, then I can support whoever it is in my life that I need to support. And I'll do it gladly, you know? I'll do it gladly. But this has been really amazing to watch this just come to life and to put so much tears and effort and work and patience and love it's like it's been a blessing really it's been a big blessing it's been a big learning curve for me as how you can grow as a human being and how you can create your future how you can create your future just by changing your thoughts just by believing in yourself and that you're capable of doing whatever it is you want to do like whatever and that's the magic of life it's so goddamn magical it's so magical every moment here is a gift it's magic use it you get so, so much energy to there's so many things you can do like whatever your drive is whatever your passion is share it share it with the world share it with the world you know, be brave, be brave. And you're going to, you're going to fight criticism. That's definitely going to come, but you got to be brave and overcome that. You have to put yourself out there. 
that's what part of being an artist is, is being able to be vulnerable and accept criticism, knowing that it's not you, it's them, right? And that's the best part, is you grow every single moment. You grow when you put yourself out there. You start challenging yourself to do different things, to do better things, to just to grow in every aspect of your life, physically, mentally, spiritually, financially, in all your relationships, your friendships, your partnerships, your businesses, right? Inspiration is a beautiful thing and you can find it in so many places. So many, sometimes just close your eyes and listen and feel and it's, it's right under your nose. It's right there under your nose. And then to grasp that and share it in your favorite art form, whatever it is, painting, poetry, photography, sculpting, even if it's like doing nails, like if in, you're into doing nails and doing like fancy designs, like burn your own path, you know? Don't worry about what everyone else is doing and how they're doing it. Do it the way that you see fit. Do it the way, the best way that you know how and you'll leave a mark. You will leave a mark your own mark, your own signature. It'll be your identity. If you do things your way. La Doulette Exquise samples. That's what I'm doing. You can get these samples. La Doulette Exquise. Bellum. And, uh, Desondre, right? If you go to lesupstray.com and if you order one 2ml sample, I will send all three so you can try for you to discover and explore. And if you love them, come back and buy a bottle if you enjoy it that much. And you can support new brands that are creative, new brands that are create. That's where you're going to find the creativity is in the new brands. That's where you're going to find creativity amongst the passionate people, the independent niche brands. That's where all the creativity is. That's where all the new stuff is coming. But there is new stuff coming. There are new perfumes coming. Soon. But you know, when I do this, like this fills me, you know, it looks monotonous, but I usually sit here and I meditate and I, I'm, I'm very at peace and I sit with my breath and I enjoy, you know, I put a lot of love in this stuff and I hope that when you guys receive it, you feel the same energy. That's the intention is to put that, you know, the energy in here, the love, the passion, the desire. And then when you, you know, when you open it up and you receive it, you get that same energy. I feel energy is contagious. And if you're aware of it, you will receive it. You will receive the good energy. There you go. Okay. That's 50. That's 50 LDE 50, 50, the big LDE. Oh my God. I love it so much. Such a dirty rose. A dirty rose is what it is. A dirty rose. Heartbreak was so damn painful. So damn painful. Has anyone out there been heartbroken? I would love to know your experiences with heartbreak and what that felt like for you. I've gone over mine like many times, but... You know, a great way to describe... I'm always looking for new ways to describe heartbreak. Check these out. These just came in. Stickers. We've got 
smaller ones. We've got these smaller ones here. Here we've got um, just postcards, thank you cards. And they come with a full bottle. That's for Desandre. And Bellum is, there's Bellum, the thank you card for Bellum. And the idea was just something angelic, right? That's what Bellum feels like to me. It smells angelic when I wear it. I came into work the other day and I was wearing Bellum and just a few minutes passed and the coworker comes screaming in and he's like, I knew you were here. I knew it was you. I knew it was you. What, what are you wearing? And I showed him, he's like, oh my God. And it was like, it was probably a third left in the bottle. I said, you like it that much? He's like, yeah. And I gave him the bottle and he was like really grateful. And he loved it and he, he's been wearing it and I smelled it on him today. And the first thing I thought was like angelic. It smells angelic. So I showed you the LDE. There's the thank you card for LDE. There is Bellum. There you can see the dove and the, the sun rays. It's just something very soft, warm, cozy. The clouds um, to represent the powdery iris. And the Sandra was just like a really deep, dark forest. That's kind of what I wanted for this postcard. Something smoky, gothic, bewitching, mysterious. That's what it is. Okay, so that's LDE. That's out of the way. Um, I like to do them in order. So because the fragrances were lived in order, like it was La Doulette Exquis, and then Bellum, and then Desandre. I do, I always do them in order. So LD is always first, Bellum, and then Desandre. So whenever I'm packing or decanting or anything like that, I always, I don't know, it's just kind of like rhythmic for me. You know, it makes sense. But now I'm gonna do Bellum here. So I've, I've actually need my phone now to print some more labels. I gotta print the Bellum labels, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little peek and and have you hang out with me. But it was cool chatting. It was cool. We'll do this again sometime. Okay. Oh, don't, yes. Lesupstoday.com. If you want to support the channel, if you want to support me, you want to support the brand and watch it grow, lesupstoday.com. Thank you so much for everybody that has supported. It means the world for, um, you know, for us to get this kind of support, the new brands, right? So it does mean a lot and it does help. So thank you, everybody. We'll see you soon, and until then, be well.